Welcome to Sunny Mountain Patterns. This is the Sand Sailor Collar Sleeveless Top Tutorial. This is the back. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So first we're going to attach the shoulders for the bodice. Uh, you have to do both sides, forward and backward stitch at 3 8 of an inch or 1 centimeter um, seam allowance. Here I have it pinned sideways. Uh, the fabric's not slippery enough, you might not even need pins. Then we have to attach the facing shoulders. You have to do both sides. I think I did both sides for this one. You're going to notice this is a little bit different shape because this is actually for the sleeveless top that does not have a collar whatsoever. And the sailor collar is a v-neck, so it's a little bit different shape, but it's the same idea. So next we're going to sew the collar to the lining. We're not going to attach the facing yet. Here. Uh, we're going to match everything up. The light blue is the lining, the dark blue is the collar, so we want the right sides together. Of course, if you don't have a specific side for the fabric, you can put whatever you want together. We're going to sew along outline at 3 eighths of an inch from the, from the loose ends. It's important it's 3 eighths of an inch for a reason, I'll tell you why later put the needle down so you can pivot. You might need to check a couple of times to make sure that you have the right amount of pivot. I like the 3 8 of an inch because you notice it's just a, a little bit over the width of my foot, of my sewing foot, not my actual foot. And we're going to sew. I'm not going all the way down to the end. I'm stopping about 3 8 of an inch before the end. And I'm going to clip the curves here. I'm actually trimming the corners and I've already trimmed off the excess, um, the excess fabric. It's just easier to sew a 3 8 than it is a quarter of an inch, so trim to about a quarter of an inch and then evert. You can use your scissors or uh, a rounded chopstick or one of those fancy turner uh, tools to go ahead and press out the, um, the corner. So then we're going to have to press. This is very important for corners so everything sits nicely. You can see here I'm using my adorable vintage iron that I rescued from being thrown away. Still works great though, and it's almost, it looks brand new, except for the fact that it's like 40 years old. So you want to press it just nicely, just push down, make sure everything lies flat, um, and the seams are even, and you don't have too much of the lining sticking out. You can top stitch, of course, if you like. Now we're going to base the collar to the neckline. This is at about a quarter of an inch from the neckline. If you need to, you can do a little bit of clipping. You can see here there's a slight clipping to help it go, help the collar go around the neckline. You don't have to. So here we're stitching all the way to the end. Um, I think I already top stitched this one, but I didn't top, stop, top stitch all the way to the end. Now we can attach the facing for the bodice. And we're pressing open the seam so it sits nicely. Notice I do not have um, these particular ones. Uh, finished because the facing will finish the bodice itself when you evert it or turn it right side out so don't worry about that uh, so we're gonna do the neck and I apologize this clip and the previous clip was for these the regular sleeveless top that does not have a collar so it's not v-necked but it's the same idea we're going around at 3 8 of an inch from front to front and then we're gonna go ahead and handle the um, the, the armholes in the same manner, which I think I actually show in this clip. So we should be pressing the seam, but right there I do something not nice. I don't press it out. It's okay if you don't. It's just a little bulkier for little kids. Um, it's hard. So you have to do both armholes. And then we're going to clip the curve so that when you evert it or turn it right side out, it looks nice. Do not clip through the, the line you just sewed because you will be so grumpy. But if you do, it's okay. You can just tack it down um, with a forward and backward stitch over what you clipped. Hopefully you haven't clipped way past that. If, if you did, you might have to patch it. So now we're going to make it right side out. It's like magic. Oh, that was the old one. Here's the correct one. So pulling through the shoulder, the front's going to come through through the back. You can see how the, the sailor collar part's already sticking on the bottom. And pull it through. It's like magic. You should press this now um, so that it fits nicely before you top stitch. I did not put that step in, but 
please do top stitch. We're top stitching through the collar. So it's going to um, stitch down the sailor collar to the neck and then top stitch the armholes. Uh, so you can tell by the slight difference in the fabric here, this is actually for the, uh, the other sleeveless top, but it's the same idea. So here I've already ironed it. Top stitching should be done about a quarter of an inch or the width of your, uh, your foot, not the whole width, but where your needle is to the foot. So we're gonna do the side seam. I flip up the, um, the facing. So in this case, if you want it to be super smooth, do not top stitch all the way to the end or save the top stitching for after you've done the side seam. Although it's easier to top stitch when it's flat. So we're just gonna sew down. I recommend just not top stitching like the last half inch on each side. So flip, flip the, uh, flip that down. Oh gosh, I forgot what it's called. Flip the facing down and then we're gonna just stitch right where the seam is. You can flip it over and do it the other way if you want it super accurate. Um, that, oh, finish seams. Yep, you can finish the seams before you go ahead and hem. We're gonna do the button placket. This is method one, which is the quick and dirty. You're gonna fold it in half, put it to the right side and just pin it in place. Uh, oh, I missed that section, but I basically, I tucked in the top already. Um, this is going bottom to top actually, but the top should have about a half an inch extra. So you can see right there, it's folded over inside and we're just gonna flip it over. Uh, you can finish the seam first and then top stitch it if you desire. Uh, here you'll see I've already pinked the fabric. You can overlock it or zigzag if you want. So here's the method two, the professional finish. We're gonna do, this should be actually the right side to the right side as you see here. And then we're gonna fold over a bit of a hem and then pin in place. So again, the top has a half inch um, from the top folded over before you sew. I don't know if that was really well shown in the, in the, in the first clip. So this is gonna be the same idea of um, top stitching, except now that it's folded over towards the front. Oh no, I had it right the first time. I misspoke. It was the right side to the wrong side because you're flipping it over. Now you can have everything all the way across. So this is a double fold of a quarter of, uh, not a quarter of an inch, a half an inch. If you need a slightly longer one, you can do a little less or you can do, of course, overlocking and then just fold up once. Um, or you can do a little bit long, uh, wider hem if you need it to be shorter. I doubt anyone needs it shorter. But this is the Sunny Mountain Patterns um, tutorial. You can find us on Etsy at Sunny Mountain Pattern. No S. Thank you.